<laughs> My name is Kate Riegel Van West. I'm conducting research on international poi and its effects on physical and cognitive function in healthy older adults. So basically, spinning a weight on the end of a cord is good for you. I was first introduced to poi in the circus. I wasn't immediately enamored with it. It looked kind of lame compared to some other stuff that was going on in the circus. But once I tried it, I was hooked. It felt really good to spin poi around, and I've basically been trying to figure out why ever since. So of course, naturally, I moved to the other side of the world, to New Zealand, to do some research and see what I can find out. So I have a group of 40 healthy older adults participating in my research study. My name is Pat Todd Hunter. I'm Nolene Webb. My name is Bruce Crosby. My name is Carol Ruthie Vasey. What's interesting is most of them don't know that poi exists outside of New Zealand, outside of Māori Dom. I think of the Māori content. Um, Māori ladies. <laughs> well, naturally, uh, the Māori poi dancers as such. So people all over the world actually practice poi. Poi come in many different shapes and sizes, and there's lots of different styles of practicing poi. But they all involve this fundamental act of swinging a weight on the end of a cord in a circle. So Māori poi are storytellers of Māori culture. Each action has a specific meaning and tells part of a story. Whereas international poi, which is the poi practiced outside of Māori dom, doesn't have any specific cultural ties or meaning. So for my study, I'm focusing on international poi because what I'm really interested in is if the fundamental act of just swinging the weight on the end of a cord in a circle has an effect on health. But I moved to New Zealand because I think the intersection of science and culture is a really rich landscape for my research to unfold. So the participants in my study have been split up into two groups, the poi group and the tai chi group. And the reason for this is because I need a control group. So there's been no research on international poi, and so I can't compare a poi group to a poi group. So I needed to find an activity that showed some fundamental characteristics with poi, had some scientific research proving its efficacy, and was appropriate for healthy older adults. So before the participants take lessons in either poi or tai chi, they have to go through a series of pre-tests where I'll be measuring things like bimanual coordination, balance, upper limb range of motion, and grip strength. It's been interesting to see how the participants do in these tests and getting to know them a little bit better too. I was drawn to your poster because of the research to do with older people. Um, and the effects that it can have on health. I have a mother who had vascular dementia and my mother-in-law suffered with Alzheimer's. So I was just hoping that I can see an improvement out of it. Well, I saw that it was to do with activities and balance and memory retention or loss and I do have a little of concern with all of those areas, so it's quite interesting to see whether I'm losing my marbles or not, and um, I'll be very interested in the outcome. Because of my age, partly, and because I do have a problem with balance, I have suffered from rheumatoid arthritis, which probably means I still have it, and I'm beginning to feel it. So I'm interested in any sort of exercise mental or physical, it might help that. And also I'm dead curious. So once all the pre-tests are out of the way, the participants will learn some poi and tai chi and then they have to repeat all the same tests after the lessons. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. No reservations, certainly dreading the test. <laughs> I'm just excited. I'm looking on it as something you know, new and exciting to do. I that's what I like to do. <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to this very much. I'll be interested to see whether I've got any coordination or not.
my name, my no facials, please. <laughs> The lessons were pretty much what I was expecting. There were some surprises. I think especially just the lack of thought I've given to how to get a poi to go around in a circle. I think most people approach poi for the first time and they sort of just naturally get it going. But you do lose some flexibility and mobility, especially in your non-dominant hand, the older that you get. I saw a lot of people moving their whole arm to spin the poi and that was really tiring and unsustainable. Overall, I think everyone was definitely challenged. I was expecting a challenge, for sure, but it was harder than I thought it would be. Definitely harder. Um, certainly controlling the non-dominant hand. I thought it would be more traditional, but the biggest thing for me was that I thought I would be better at it. I was quite amazed at the beginning, my and coordinated movements. <laughs> I was quite surprised actually. My lack of coordination was a real problem and I didn't even know I had a lack of coordination. I thought if you could ride a bike you were coordinated. Then I haven't ridden a bike for about 40 years so I guess that's not taken into account. Uh, I was really pushing them but the challenge wasn't insurmountable and everyone did make progress in their own way. You can see some of that in the word clouds so I asked participants to write down three words describing how they felt after each lesson, and it's really interesting to see the progression. The Tai Chi group is pretty calm and relaxed through the whole thing, and for the Poi group there's a real evolution. It starts out with uncoordinated and challenged, and by the end it's happy and relaxed, and there's still some challenged and uncoordinated in the background. Because it was harder, I think I've got more out of it. I feel a lot more pleasure from having achieved some of it some of the time. <laughs> oh, I definitely would have a different mental picture if somebody said the poi to me now. I would have a different mental picture from what I would have before these lessons because beforehand I would have only associated poi with traditional Maori poi and now I realise there is an alternative. If somebody mentioned poi to me, um, I would now have a much wider uh, understanding of what they were talking about. Um, and instead of thinking of it as a, something I wouldn't particularly think I would want to do, I, I found I quite enjoyed it and um, I think it's quite a good exercise. I immediately think of uh, left and right, <laughs> which way, <laughs> and what am I going to do when I hear the word poi. Um, it's, uh, it, it's opened up, well it's just totally new, it's something I never really thought about. I don't think of a point now. Movement, M more coordinated, relaxation, and I think it's beneficial. Mind-wise, I think you just concentrate and enjoy it, uh, which I also imagine is what Tai Chi would be too. You, you know, you're in the moment and enjoying the moment. What's next? That is a good question. I'm still in the middle of analyzing my data, but even so, I'm not sure there's going to be a nice, neat wrap-up of the data or the study or this ploy documentary. I think that's probably a direct reflection of most scientific research, actually. I mean, we're used to seeing these nice conclusive headlines in the media about how chocolate can extend your life or whatever. And I mean, I do dream of seeing those headlines about poi someday, about poi prolonging quality of life or preventing the onset of diseases that strike in old age, but I know I have a long, hard road ahead of me. This is just the first study on poi. There's a whole lifetime, more than a lifetime's worth of research to do, and I just hope I have a lifetime left to work on it. I've enjoyed the experience of being involved um, from a personal point of view in relation to my mental and physical skills and I find that my concentration and my focus and coordination have all uh, appeared to approve, um, certainly with my bowling. I mean, I've enjoyed the experience because it's a totally different experience from anything I've done before. and. Um, I didn't enjoy being so inept at it. But I did achieve a little bit. Very little.
I feel pleased that I took the challenge on. I feel pleased that I've succeeded to a degree. And yes, I would definitely like to, uh, to continue with it. It would be awesome to do it with others together on the beat. It must just be a wonderful feeling when it all comes perfectly, yes. Once it's all cut in, it's not going to seem so awkward. <laughs> Take two on that question. Or yeah. five. Now I'm like hyperactive. <sighs> oh. oh, that is a hard question. I don't have a favorite color. I like colors next to each other. Why can I not be succinct? Do I need to move these hairs? It gets quite wrinkly though, which I don't like. Who wants to iron? Nobody. Oh. Come on, brain, you got this. Yeah. <laughs> You're the star of the show. That's, we don't have the technology. <laughs> yeah, I like it right there. This whole study, it would just come to an end if I died. I think that was a solid bit. Yeah. Great, thank you. That's so cheesy. No, I can't end like that. I don't have an ending. I'm done.